All right, what's going on guys? Devin and Allie back here with another quick little update video. Um, kind of winging this one. We don't got any note cards or scripts or there's nothing on the TV to tell us what to say like there usually is because we have, we have a whole production crew. That's usually how we do this. This is very high budget. So y'all need to subscribe so we can keep making them high dollar videos. But uh, anyways, we know it's been a while. It's been probably like four weeks, yeah. a month-ish. Yeah. Something, something like that. Uh, we got sick with COVID. We caught the COVID. Yep, we caught COVID. It wasn't fun. Um, so this is going to be just a quick little video explaining our experience with COVID. And um, toward the end, we might go a little bit more in-depth about some upcoming videos we got planned. Because we do still plan on making videos. It's just when you are sick and all you want to do is sleep and eat. And curl up in a ball. And curl up in a ball. You really don't feel like sitting in front of a camera when your whole body just aches. Yeah. Um, so I'll start off with my symptoms first. Uh, I actually, we caught it around the same time. We're still not entirely sure how we got it because we both are really good about wearing masks and sanitizing our hands. And staying away from people. And social distancing. She has to because she works for the like the health department, so they're very strict about that. And um, which mean which means when she's home, I also have to, you know, be aware of that and respect that. So um, she actually caught symptoms first, um, and then like a day later, after we confirmed that it was COVID and she did test positive. I ended up starting to feel not the greatest. Mm -hmm. uh, at first it was just like sniffles, like, oh, it's like probably allergies or something. But then like the next day after that, um, I was experiencing a lot of dizziness. And I did almost catch a fever. I was... I, I would still say you got a fever. It was just a low grade fever. Yeah, my, my temperature was like 99.5, um, which my temperature has been higher than that before. But, but that's not the highest it was. No. Um, that's not even a low-grade fever. Yeah. Um, so it might have been higher than that. But It was probably about like 98, 99.5, something yeah. like that. Um, but anyways, I was experiencing a lot of chills. And luckily I was able to break the fever or else I think I probably would have been a lot worse if like it would have stuck. But luckily I was able to break it. Um, my biggest thing was dizziness and muscle aches. Mm -hmm. Fatigue. Fatigue. I don't yeah. think my body has ever hurt so bad. Like, I'm pretty well into, like, working out now. And, be, like, working out and being sore does not compare to what I experienced with COVID. Like, COVID, like, it messed me up. Like, it was hard to sleep at night because of how bad, like, my shoulders and back and stuff would ache. Um, that's pretty much it for me. I didn't have to like go to the emergency room or go to the ER or anything. I think like how sick you are or, or how you get from COVID really depends on how healthy you were before COVID. Not necessarily because I had it really bad. Like I didn't have to go to the hospital or anything. But you know I'm saying like like you're, I don't think you're gonna die from it unless you uh already had like prior health conditions no. or but then again some people some people have they've just I, mean, I don't even think it's it has a to weird that it's a because, weird virus because perfectly healthy people were dying that's too. true so i don't even think it i just think it's kind of like just kind of picks and chooses it's that's like true kind of thing and i guess some people just get really really unlucky um <clears throat> so what were some of your symptoms allison my symptoms were Nausea, diarrhea, um, muscle aches, fatigue, sneezing, coughing, runny nose, congestion. I pretty much, uh, shortness of breath. Yep. Um, breathing problems. I, for, for a little while, um, there was a couple days where it was so hard for me to breathe, like, I was so congested, and my test, my, my test, <laughs> my chest was so tight 
that like if I were to drink water or eat something, I, m my body would start to panic because I could not get any oxygen in my body. I, my body was just going in the flight mode, like yeah. just panic. She just would she would go to drink panic. something like drink some water or like some Powerade, but she couldn't breathe out of her nose because her nose were stopped up. So she was blocking pretty much your your only airway when you go to eat or drink something. Mm -hmm. But then you also had like tightness in your chest where it was already hard to breathe to begin mm -hmm. with. Yeah. So it, it was kind of it was scary yeah. for for a few days. But mm -hmm. um, uh, he actually didn't get tested. No, I did not. But we know he got it. Oh, yeah. Um, I did get tested, so it was like. I started having symptoms on Saturday. I was coughing and just had a, a runny, well not a runny nose, I just was coughing and sneezing a lot. And then Saturday I was just coughing a lot and just had some congestion. And then Monday, Monday the 14th, December the 14th, I woke up and I, my throat was just aching. And just it was just so sore. I thought I had strep or something, but I don't have tonsils. I had them removed when I was little. So me having strep is very strange. Like I don't yeah. remember what strep throat feels like because it's been so long. It's not fun. So I am was like, oh my gosh, it's strep. And I was like, wait a minute, what if it's COVID? Mm -hmm. So I stayed home from work that day, and then. Um, the next day I was feeling better, um, and then I got tested and found out I had COVID. Yeah. Um, so I found out I had COVID, and, well, we were supposed to go to Dustin for Christmas, so our trip got canceled. Mm -hmm. So that's two trips canceled because of COVID-19. One because of just a lockdown, and one because yeah, one we... Yeah, one trip we were supposed to go to New Mexico, but then uh, my sister-in-law, Hannah, shout out to Hannah, because uh, we wouldn't have known about this, um, sent me a thing, like sent me a little screenshot mm -hmm. of like a news report saying that New Mexico was going on like a complete like shutdown. All non-essential businesses were closing down. Um, and we already couldn't go hiking, which is one of the biggest things I wanted to do because of, like, snow on the trails and stuff like that. Um, so places like Old Town and all that was going to be shut down. So we had to cancel that trip. Um. So we were really looking forward to Christmas. We so were really, really, Christmas really came around, we're going to take, you know, Christmas. a week, go see her family. Mm -hmm. Um, and just kind of hang out with them and... Then we caught COVID, and obviously we didn't want to give them COVID. So we didn't go, obviously. So we didn't go. Disclaimer, we didn't go. <laughs> we were stuck in this house for how many days? Uh, well, Once we okay, both so, started having symptoms. Well, I'm going to explain this first, and then we'll get to that part. But So I the first week that I had COVID was extremely rough for me. Like I yeah. had pretty much all the symptoms. I'm um, and for those wondering, she she did in fact lose her sense of taste and smell. Yes, she could not taste I, or smell anything. Yeah, I forgot to mention that, but I forgot. I forgot to mention. I still. Yeah. I still cannot smell one hundred percent or taste. So like things like vinegar. Th if something's got vinegar in it or something, you know, strong like vinegar, I can slightly taste it. But say, like, for instance, like, fries that are slightly seasoned or uh, potato chips. I can't taste it. There's nothing there. It's just basically like I'm eating a texture. Um, so, I, the first week for me was really, really rough. Devin, I wouldn't say Devin didn't, had it easy because, I mean, he, he did have, it wasn't fun for him. For me, it was just... Dizziness and muscle aches. Those him, are two biggest he, things. I wouldn't say he had it easy, but like it, it was a lot easier than I had it. I slept a lot. I had every single symptom you could possibly have. Yep. Um, and for the first week from Monday all the way to probably like Sunday, I was just miserable. Absolutely miserable. Actually no. 
There was one symptom I didn't have. Hmm. A fever. I never got a fever. I That's did true. get chills, but I never got a fever. Um, but that first week was so rough. Um, and then, like, Monday came around, and I was feeling better, but still not 100%. And then the next day came around, I felt like absolute doo-doo. Absolute doo-doo. And it was like, then the next day, I felt better, but not great. And the next day after that, I was like, oh, I feel, like, really, really good. The next day, doo-doo again. It just, it, it is the weirdest virus ever. Yeah, virus. one day you'd go from feeling fine, and the next day you'd feel, like, complete garbage. And then the next day you'd be like, oh, wow, I feel like I'm getting better. Like, yeah. I can feel my body, like, fighting this. I feel not too bad today. Yeah. And the next day it just hits you again. And you're like, what happened? Another thing I will mention, I don't know if this is because of the virus or what. I'm blaming the virus. So things like NyQuil, Benadryl, um, Tylenol PM, those knock me out. Like, dead. Like, I'm gone. Like, dead to the world. I'm out for hours on end. I took NyQuil. I could not sleep. I could not sleep. I could not fall asleep. I took NyQuil. I tried taking it like several nights. I couldn't sleep. And on top of that, I had muscle aches. So I couldn't get comfortable. I was miserable. Could not fall asleep. <sighs> it, 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 it was not fun. I slept as much as I possibly he could. He slept so much. Like... Like there were there were some days where I'd sleep till three or four o'clock in the afternoon just mm -hmm. because I did not want to be awake to experience the symptoms. Mm -hmm. I was hoping if I sleep through it, I'll be miserable for a, a less amount of time. That was my reasoning behind it. So if I was in bed, I planned on staying in bed for at least probably twelve or thirteen hours, and then I'd finally get up, eat something, shower. I really wanted to work out, but I was just like, I was too weak. My body just could not do it. Finally starting to get back into it. I worked out today, and it was really nice. I worked out the day before that, too, and the day before that. So, it's three days in a row so far. So, for me, the ten days... Okay, so you're supposedly, after ten days, you start having your symptoms, or you're tested positive. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, after ten days, you're considered no longer um, infectious. Yeah. Um, so that 10 days for me was Christmas Day. So 10 days for you was like... It was like... The day after Christmas or... The day the after falling. that. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Um, so... And... We did not leave the house for an extra three or four days just to be on the safe side. Because... Mm -hmm. Let's see, it was like seven days after... I started having some, no, after you, no, seven days after I tested positive, his mom caught it. Yep, my mom caught it. And she did test positive. Yeah, she tested positive. And she had almost the identical symptoms as him. Yep. Both, I mean, she's also feeling better now, too. Oh, yeah, so she's, she's much All better. three of us recovered. Um, so... I mean, it's very weird how it affects people differently. Yeah, some people have to go to the hospital for it and get put on, like, breathing machines and stuff. Whereas some people just have some light sniffles. It's like a common cold to them. Mm -hmm. And other people are, are like me and other people are like her and lose their sense of smell and taste. And it's just, I don't get it. I'm very interested in seeing how long it takes me to get it all back and if... I do get it back because there are some people that don't get it back. Now, I know for a fact, um, Monday, this past Monday, so Monday the, what, what's, what was Monday? Hold on. Also, uh, Happy New Year's. Oh, yeah. Happy, uh, New, Happy New, New Year's to everyone, <laughs> to all of our viewers. Okay. Happy, late, Merry Christmas. Hope everyone... Had a good Christmas, considering the, the circumstances of this year. Hopefully 2021 will be a lot better for everyone. Yes. Happy New Year's. Alright. If 
2021 is half as bad as 2020, it'll be a significant improvement. Okay, so December 28th, I was feeling really good. Like, I was, like, starting to feel really, really good. This past week uh, has been pretty good for me, but I kept getting easily exhausted. Like, a lot of fatigue. Like, I'd stand up, and I couldn't stand up longer than five minutes. Mm -hmm. And this is after I'm... COVID supposedly gone out of my system. Um, I'm, today is, and yesterday was, like, I'm, I'm not feeling that as much, but, um, I was still having some breathing problems on Monday, like, it was still tight and stuff, but, um, anyways, but I wanted to be a, a huge, 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 huge shout out to everyone that has been praying for us and that has been thinking about us and that has texted us and just asked us how we are doing. Um, huge thank you. Huge yep, thank you to definitely. all of you. Shout out to my uh, my boy Carlin. He's been asking how I was doing the entire time I had COVID. Oh my goodness. You know how it is, Carlin. You a real one. Uh, Troy, thank you for picking up us some vitamin C. It and helped. toilet paper. And toilet paper because we got real close to running out of toilet paper that we were done. Actually, like, like one that roll. day that he brought us toilet paper, we had just used the last roll. Yeah, and then our like my mom was doing runs for us, like going and picking us up food, which. But we, this is before she tested positive. Yeah, this is before she tested positive, um. So she was, you know, doing her best to not catch it, and we did our best to like not stay be around her. her. Yeah, stay away from her. But sure enough, uh, she still caught it. So. She couldn't go anywhere. We couldn't go anywhere. So we were we were kind of at a dead end. We're like we were in a pickle. We were in a big like, pickle. Someone we, needs to pick us up some like some like like and, a little supply drop. And we really were trying so hard to not like message people and be like, hey, can you go do this? I mean, like obviously I know they do it, but at the same time, we was trying not to inconvenience other people. Exactly. So, anyways. And we didn't. It's not like we wanted to like go out and like act like nothing was happening because it's like that's how the virus spreads exactly well so it's kind of getting up there with the time yeah it is um we do have some videos coming up we got like a face mask video we plan on doing uh we we're gonna do this fun christmas game we might still just do it just for the heck of it yeah. um we we're gonna do it before we left for dustin for christmas and then we got COVID, and then it just didn't happen. Um, so we might just still do it and just post it for the heck of it. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we got some fun videos planned for y'all. Um, I hope you guys stay tuned. Um, I know we were kind of rambling, but if you, you have cottage... Cottage? Cotted. Oh, my God. Cottage cheese. <laughs> <laughs> if you have caught COVID and you want to tell us your story, please feel free to. Um, we yeah. love to hear how it, well, I mean, we don't want, okay, that, this, this is kind of coming out bad, but I hate that if you caught it, I wish that you didn't catch it, but if you did catch it, please share your experience. We're curious and to find out how it affected you. And uh, if it ma affected mainly you how it uh, affected you long term yeah. after you've tested negative for it. Yeah. So, like, ongoing side effects that you're still having. Because, like she said, she still has shortness of breath. She still can't smell or taste completely. Whereas I'm completely fine now. Like, he's able to work out now. And, yeah. like, actually run and do all this, like, fast-moving stuff and lifting weights and all that. I, I'm i not pushing myself. I'm probably going to wait another week, if not two weeks, before I start doing that. And I'm going to move into it very, very slowly. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, we'll try and post another video pretty soon, probably within less than a week. Probably, yeah. Um, that way we can just go and start get back into the groove of things, cranking videos out. Um, we'll probably let this one simmer for, you know, a day or two, give people a chance to see it, and then uh, we'll go and post the next one after that, which don't know what it'll be about, but it'll, we'll pro see. it'll probably be like a fun little challenge video or so of some sort. Um, anyways... Some of us at 20 minutes long, so we're going to cut it off here. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, Happy New Year. Happy B belated, belated Christmas. Christmas. <laughs>
Um, and we'll catch you all in the next one. All right. Bye. All right. Peace out, guys.